There is spilled ketchup on the counter and your boyfriend doesn't know how to clean it up. Is he dumb or are you a jerk for intentionally making a mess and trying to see how he can fix it? The ketchup test is the latest relationship test going viral. And honestly, some of the videos are pretty funny with some guys just smearing ketchup into the furniture like they've never cleaned a day in their life. And other men are perfectly capable and also probably tired, tired of all of this content that is made for your entertainment. No, you're doing that. But here's the thing, what does the ketchup challenge show? One point of argument is that it's all about domestic labor. You have to have some level of knowledge and I think a little bit of common sense to know how to clean up ketchup rather than smearing it into a counter. So there's that whole conversation around weaponized incompetence. Some men pretend or truly just don't know how to do something and therefore the work falls on the woman. But does the ketchup test prove whether you have a good boyfriend or husband? I would say probably not. I think what the ketchup test proves is that cleaning is work and that that work should not be minimized. The internet is riddled with relationship tests and you might be wondering why. There was name a woman challenge, the peel and orange theory. And I think the reason why these challenges are so popular is one, they get a lot of views on social media. People wanna see how other people react to things because we're all doing a social comparison. It's pretty weird when you think about it. We are watching strangers every single day, see how they interact with each other, and then we compare their relationship to ours. And when we see these challenges that claim to predict how our relationship's gonna be, whether we're with the right person, whether our husband or boyfriend is good to us and going to be good to us later in life, we want that assuredness. We want certainty in an uncertain world. And I think that's why these relationship tests are so popular. I think these tests can be fun if you don't take them too seriously because sometimes your partner might not get it right, but it doesn't mean they're a bad person. A lot of stuff you see on social media can be fake. In fact, I'm pretty sure this video was scripted because people in the comments were getting upset over her boyfriend's reaction when she was like, peel me an orange and he basically didn't. Doing these tests can be kind of fun, funny, entertaining, but in the end, I think the biggest predictor of understanding whether you're with the right person is time in a relationship, communication, and also when you're going through a rough patch, whether they're there for you or not. Test something, okay? Okay. How would you clean this up? How would I clean it up? Yeah. No. No, you're lying. You're lying. No, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. Ah! I'm gonna throw up right now. And then? I... I... Perfect. I feel so nauseous. <laughs> This is a task for you. I don't need more tasks. What are you doing? How would you clean that up? What are you talking about? This is so weird. What are you doing? <laughs> it's nice to have a clean husband. It's a test and you passed. Good job. There's a lot of ketchup you wasted too.
There's no fucking way. So it looks like women have the orange pill theory and this ketchup test, which they just squirt ketchup on the counter and they're like, can you please clean this? And then they just watch him try to clean it. I think it's sad that we've come to this, but it lets me also know that women haven't been vetting men out like at all. Some woman had a thought and made a video. Now it's a trend. It's like, let me see if these motherfuckers can actually clean shit up. Like, can they do anything? A simple mess. Can you do this? And a lot of men did pretty well. But there were some men like him that it's just stressful to watch. I'd imagine there was a lot of women that were just disappointed to find out like the man that they love can't do a simple fucking thing. They're just like, oh my God, he's an idiot and I didn't know it. And he's like, did I do a good job? Did I do the thing? Did I pass the test? And she's like, no, you didn't. Y'all gotta be careful because some of these motherfuckers are gonna be like, look how terrible I clean messes. Oh, I can't do this at all. This is why you should do this because I just suck at this. And that's when women are like, oh, just give it to me. I'll do it. This is why I clean up messes. And he's like, oh, thank God. <laughs> so yeah, I gotta be careful. But as far as the test, you know, as long as they're fair and they're reasonable, I I'm all for it. I'm gonna be trying the dropping ketchup on the counter trend and see how my fiance cleans it up. Let's test this theory. Hey, baby. Huh. Can you clean this ketchup up for me, please? <laughs> Why is that? This is a waste. Of no, food. it's not. Bro. <laughs> You're doing this on purpose. I know you are. No, I'm not. <laughs> you know how hard it is to clean this shit up, bro. Babe. To clean up ketchup? Well, how you smeared you it everywhere. Your oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, Harry! What the heck? What are you talking about? Oh my! I saw you just do it. I did it. It just oh. fell out. Can you clean it for me? Yeah. What are you doing? Stop! Did I hurt you? Clean it, Harry! Why? What is wrong with you? Just clean it. For what? You clean it. You put it there. Just clean it. Seriously. Why would you do that? Think it's funny? Huh? You like to see me work? Like my ancestors haven't done enough? How did you do that that fast? Do what? Clean it? Yeah. You watch me clean it. Why are you mean? What do you mean? Just try it again. Tira, I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> do, do not spill it again. We I'll, already I'll have the you... little bottle. Put it up. I want you to see. That's kind of smart. How? You're not very smart for doing that. Not smart. Blow my nails. Get out of here. What? So I put the glob of ketchup on the counter. Okay. And then I told my boyfriend to clean it up. Why? Oh, it, it's a challenge to see if he can clean it up. What? Like women are challenging their boyfriends and husbands to clean up a glob of ketchup on their kitchen counter. Okay. I'm still missing how this is a challenge. Oh, because they don't know how. There's like hundreds of videos of men wiping it into the counter instead of wiping it off. You're telling me there are hundreds of grown men who find cleaning up a glob of ketchup so challenging, it's a challenge. Yeah, they just don't know how and it's just a goofy, silly, funny thing. It's goofy, silly, fun that men don't know how to clean a counter. Well, no, not all men. There are some videos where women are showing off and praising their boyfriends and partners for knowing how to. Do you know how to clean up a glob? of ketchup? Yeah, of course I do. And the women who are partnered to these men, do they know how to? Well, yeah, I mean, that's how they knew how to set the challenge up. Okay, so why aren't we praising these women for having a basic domestic labor skill? Because it's not a challenge for us, it's just e expected. And for men, it's either cute that they don't know how or a pat on the back if they do. 
Yeah. And you did this with your boyfriend. Yeah. Did he try and wipe it into the counter? Yeah. Do you want the rest of my cookie? No. Do you want to go back to therapy? Yeah. Yeah. Telling me there are hundreds of grown men who find cleaning up a glob of ketchup so challenging. So I understand that this is supposed to be funny, but this is why men get away with this shit is because so many women are enabling this behavior because it's either funny if they don't know how to clean up ketchup off the counter or we're praising them for knowing how to clean a counter. Like you women are setting up, putting us back, 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 back. The bar is in hell and they're going to continue to weaponize their incompetence because you allow it. Okay, we're gonna try the dropping ketchup on the counter trend and see how my husband cleans it up. All right, I just wanna test the theory. Okay. What are you doing? Okay, now clean it up. Clean it up? Clean it up. What are you talking about? Just clean it up, I wanna see. What do you mean clean it up? You. <laughs> that's disgusting. <laughs> that's disgusting. Yeah, I guess I can just go like this. Works pretty good. What? You did not just do that. Well, I didn't want to waste. You it. did, Sam. It's just like a washcloth. I don't want to waste more. I just realized how wasteful that was. A paper towel. Look. Look. <gasps> Sam. Things like that. You're joking. Look, and then I can go like this. <gasps> it's already wet. Oh, please tell me you've never done that before. That is disgusting. What do you mean? I don't get what you're doing. Why are you filming me? It's weird. This is a stupid challenge. I passed. Hey, Billy. What? Can you clean that up for me? No, I no, no, no. Why would you do it? Why would you dump it out right there? It's just a thing. I need you to clean it up. No, I'm not touching it. Why would I touch it? If you dump it out, or you clean it up? It's a just. <clears throat> I'm trying to do an experiment. Can you just clean it up? No. Why would you I, clean no, it up? No. I wouldn't clean it up. I'd leave it right there and let you clean it up. <laughs> Can you just wipe it up and show us how you would wipe it up? I'd wipe it up like this right here. Just like this. <laughs> just like this, how you'd wipe it up. I wouldn't wipe it up. Now, that's how to wipe it up and I'll open a garbage can for you. <laughs> now that looks disgusting. Just throw it in the garbage, buddy. Throw it in there. <laughs> Why would you do something so dumb? Y'all know the ketchup challenge that's going around where the girls are like putting ketchup on the counter and then getting their boyfriends or their husbands to clean it. I saw a video where her man cleaned up the ketchup well. The comments on that video, women were saying, marry him. Marry him? He cleaned some fucking ketchup. Like, the bar's that low? Uh, uh. Uh, uh. Y'all listen to me. Do not <laughs> marry a man because he can clean ketchup off the fucking counter. Like, obviously, I know that's a joke, but like the fact that that even are y'all okay? I know, I know, dating out there is hard. I'm, I know. Well, I don't, but I'm sure I've heard. Okay, I've heard that you guys are in the trenches. Marry him. Let's let's do better for ourselves in 2024. Okay? It's great if your man can can clean. That does not a, mean that he's marriage material. It just means he can do adult responsibilities. Okay? Okay. Glad we had that chat. Hey babe, can you clear up this ketchup stain? Yeah. Okay, thanks.
It's a lot of ketchup. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Hello, and welcome back to Matthew Tries, a show where Matthew tries something he has never done before. And today, Matthew has no idea what we're doing. And I hope he does not make me regret marrying him today. Clean it up. What the actual fuck? Why? This is a test. Like... I mean, obviously, you know, just get as much as you can in one napkin. Why would you do this? It also doesn't matter if you but like, why? Well, guys, Matthew passed. The trend, would you like to know? Is it to use actual cleaner on it? Men will, like, smear it all over the counter and be like, I don't know what you want me to do. Uh. Seriously, it's not that hard. If he didn't know how to wipe up a countertop filled with ketchup, I would probably have to divorce him. I fell down a rabbit hole of straight women asking their boyfriends to clean up a mess and you guys are coming along with me. Don't, no, no, don't smear it, oh. This isn't a one-off thing, this is like, the common. No, why are you spreading it in? No! Why did he just plop it down on the counter? I have a lot of thoughts, but first of all, if you're dating a man like this, I am so sorry, my condolences. Second of all, if you're a man like this, I, well, an adult, if you're any adult that doesn't know how to clean up a simple mess, please, I am begging you to work a food service job. In fact, this is why I say that everyone should be required to work like customer service slash food service jobs, because I feel like it teaches you important life skills. Also, it'll just make you value the labor of people that do these jobs that we view as like low skill, because while yes, you don't need a degree to work any of those jobs, it'll definitely give you a newfound appreciation for the people that are providing you with like your fast food or your coffee, because they go through a lot of stress. And I'm speaking from experience. Lastly, to anyone raising kids, specifically those raising kids with like traditional gender roles, this is what happens when you don't teach your boys how to do like domestic tasks. First of all, anyone can cook, anyone can clean. And look, if you're a woman who wants to stay at home, more power to you. You should have every right to be a stay at home mom and do the cooking and the cleaning. But like, what happens when you get sick and your boyfriend needs to clean a simple mess? Or what happens to men that are living on their own and they're in their bachelor era, you know, before they find a wife? Is this how they're cleaning? And if for whatever reason you're watching this and you're like, I've never had to clean up a mess, instead of rubbing it in, just like scoop it, you know, do like a little scooping motion. Also, I'm not saying I'm not interested because these videos were definitely fascinating and I think I've been watching them for like the last 20 minutes. But like, how did this become a trend? I'm not mad. Just confused? I want to test something. How would you clean that up? Clean that up? Yeah. How would you clean it up? Because oh, oh, oh. we know you don't clean very much, so. No, Elizabeth, Elizabeth. I made some chicken nuggies. What are you about to do? What do you think about? If you take that nugget and dip it into that, you are repulsive. You know this counter hasn't been cleaned in so long, probably. Mm. You, you are so... Let me try that. <laughs> yeah, I have to look at it. I have to look at it. Wow. There's a big controversy going around on the internet about the correct way to clean up ketchup. Apparently guys do it like some weird way. Everyone's freaking out. Yeah, I thought I would throw my hat in the ring and show y'all how I would clean up a glob of ketchup. So we got our glob of ketchup right here. So first things first, I would grab a paper towel roll. And then second thing second, I would grab a trash can. Get out of my way. Pick the trash can and then push it up right here. And then I would hold it with my muscular thighs. Take, take some paper towel. I'd probably take, ooh. where's this wet? Okay, hold on. How did it get ketchup on it already? Did I get some on my sleep? Okay, uh, I'm nervous. There's an audience. And then just take the paper towel, take another. So yeah, hopefully I did 
get that right.